Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya. Here in fabulous Honolulu, take a look at this aerial footage from Excite Modula of PTC 2019. And joining me here today, my, my good friend, Eric Gachal. Been uh, friends with him for 20 years. 20 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow, so. <laughs> yeah but, uh, of course, he's the CEO, president of United Cable Company, UCC. That's right. Uh, so, we've got big news, we do. exciting to talk about. Yeah. Um, we have a new project, Eric, called the UCC Hudson Bore Pipe. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, we've looked at a project going across the Hudson. Uh, a few others have, uh, through private uh, conduit, through uh, bore pipes, through Midtown. And, uh, you know, we looked at uh, this project from a southernmost approach going through, uh, you know, through bedrock and through the uh, Hudson Riverbed instead of going through public transportation. So no longer would I have to reach out to the Amtrak, Holland Tunnel, Lincoln Tunnel, other, you know, right of ways to G GWB. We're actually going to build it uh, ourselves from Jersey City to Battery Park uh, and connect in uh, five of the largest data centers uh, known to man, uh, 750, 755 Sequoias, uh, Equinix, Equinix, that campus. Uh, uh, Newark, obviously the entire building, but Meet Me Room in Newark, 165 Halsey, going to 95 Christopher Columbus Street uh, in uh, Jersey City, and then crossing over from Morris Canal Park right over Battery Park City. There'll be two pipes, five and a half inches in diameter, uh, four and a half inside, inner diameter, and uh, going into Battery Park City and extending on to 60 Hudson Street to our friends at Data Grid and DRT, and then going up to Equinix and 111.8 and all the tenants that are in 111.8. So uh, kind of a, a buried project in New York, a wet project with two bore pipes coming across the Hudson and uh, terrestrial New Jersey. And best part is we're, uh, we're equipping it day one with 3,456 fiber pairs. And one of the uh, conduits and the other conduit will be left empty uh, for future use. But um, we will be um, uh, supplying much of the much needed infrastructure in New York City that's lacking today. Sure, and, and terrestrial subsea cable, absolutely your expertise. Um, so we're talking new modern fiber infrastructure. What does that mean for Hudson, New Jersey, New York area? Well, it means a, you know, a whole plethora of new fiber coming in, the latest and greatest um, you know, spider web cable coming in, no longer ribbon fiber. Uh, we're looking at the 3456, which is just a little bit larger than your conventional 864 cables yeah. coming into Manhattan. Uh, the nice part is uh, it's, you know, it's uh, when we stub it off at the manholes, which all you'll see is manholes on either side of the Hudson, we'll then uh, take 1728s around the, around the city to other destinations. So for us, brand new infrastructure. The other infrastructure that's there today probably was laid in 2001 and 2006. And again, going through public transportation. So this is completely diverse, secure, 100 feet below the Hudson River bed, something, you know, we've kind of talked about in the past. And the best part is uh, the original team that uh, was sold for me at the lab past couple places, Tyco, Hibernia, those great destinations are also the team at UCC. So the whole sales and marketing team is intact uh, as a real operational and we brought on uh, some new venture capital people that will be helping us out, some old friends from old places. So yeah. diversity through security yes. and uh, an expertise. I'm loving this. So That's what is great. the timeline of this install? Timeline we're looking at fall right now. The uh, long tent and pole is permitting. As you know, we're going through like NOAA. Um, uh, you've got to go through a bunch of different fisheries, obviously, uh, Army Corps of Engineers. So uh, a few hurdles to get through, but uh, when the infrastructure would do it, and uh, New York City, the mayor and people behind bringing in infrastructure into the city, uh, do it's a big part of that as well, to bring in this type of infrastructure from Jersey, uh, hooking up local governments in both Jersey and New York. It's really one of those projects that, you know, is something you can hang your hat on one day, you know, and actually put an epitaph behind it. It's, it's a perfect project, perfect background, and no longer one of the ones we're working across the world in. It's in our backyard. Yeah. We're, we're 30 minutes away, so it's great. Yeah. And certainly uh, something to sing to the kids at night. <laughs> they will be there for the drilling part, yes, absolutely. <laughs> the, the big construction stuff that kids love, even this guy. <laughs> so where do we go to learn more? I definitely want to know more about this project. Absolutely, can le learn more on our website, uh, unitedcablecompany.com. Uh, I'll be happy to go there. We have a great JSNA walkout from a few years ago that's also there on that site, so you can view that. But um, we're there, and it's under the Bore Pipe Project, um, you know, Hudson Bore Pipe Project. You'll see more. You'll hopefully see this video up soon, and uh, and many more to come as we uh, announce our, both our drill team, our terrestrial team, and the uh, people that will be doing all our desktop surveys, marine surveys, and um, all our permitting. So that will be coming out shortly. 
couldn't think of a better team to lead this project for sure. And very excited. Yeah, really, very excited. we're excited to hear it. We will be covering this story as this project unfolds, so keep it tuned in here Live for the more. construction date, the start of the board. Oh, we're going to be there. This construction only takes 45 days across the Hudson, so it's very quick. Oh. You know, very quick. I love the footage 60 already. meters a day. Yeah. Yep, that's it. <laughs> All right, so you heard it here first, unitedcablecompany.com. Huge news, especially for the New Jersey New Yorkers, and, and actually um, knowing that New York is such an international hub, it's, it's really a global story as well. It is. You're looking at those major hubs anywhere from 700 tenants to 1,000 tenants in each building, let alone all the people we can reach on the way. Uh, the interesting thing is those buildings, the long hauls that we'll be providing, there will only be 12 splice points. So for us, there's 6 dB loss with fusion splicing. Really what that means to everybody? Virtual cross connects. We're 10.2 miles from any one destination. This is virtual cross connect world. Now you're buying pairs of fiber. We're not selling lit. We're not selling everything else. Boy, data. Just dark fiber, point to point, and the virtual cross connects between those data centers. So easy as it can be. Love it. Thank yep. you, Eric. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it as always. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.